Hi everyone. So today we're going to do a workout using a ball. So the type of ball that you need is anything like this or it can be a smaller one. It doesn't really matter. Um, I picked this one up just at the dollar store so it's very cheap. You just want something that uh, you can hold on to to do the exercises with. To, but today I'm going to use this one during the class just because I like the feel of it better. But anything will work. All right, so we're just gonna start with a bit of a warm up. We're gonna put the ball down for now. And we're just gonna start with just doing a gentle march. So let's just bring our arms into it a little bit just to warm up. So this is a very gentle class and uh, I just want you to work within your own limits. Do what works best for you. If you need to modify the exercises, then definitely do that. All right, let's bring our arms out to the side. We're just gonna bring our arms down and back up. So just working on range of motion right now. And one more time. Excellent, now bring the hands forward and I want you to press the hands back gently. And forward. And just one more. Excellent, let's have one arm up, one arm down and alternating. So bringing it up and down. So I want you to go as far as you can with your arms. So bring them back as far as you can. Feel that stretch. And one more. Good. Relax the feet. Let's bring the arms forward, reaching. So really reaching forward and reaching all the way back. Again, working on those shoulders and that range of motion. All right, let's just rotate the wrists and going in the other direction. Good, let's bring the hands forward, warming up those arms and pulling back. I want you to press forward and pull. Pull and press. Let's just do one more. Good, let's bring one arm overhead. I want you to pull down and press up. So really reach as high as you can and then pull down. Last one, other side. So pulling down and pressing up. And just one more. Good, okay, let's uh, warm up those legs. We're just gonna bring one leg up and back down, switch sides. And one more, excellent. Let's do a calf raise, lifting those heels as high as we can and back down and again. And one more, excellent. Now just bring those feet a little bit more forward, bringing those toes up, working the front of our legs, our shins. And two more. Excellent. All right, let's pick up that ball. Now, um, when you have the ball, you want it to be a little bit soft. You don't want to, you don't want it to be pumped up all the way because then it's really hard to grasp onto. So we're going to do some hand exercises, leg exercises, arm exercises. We're doing a full body workout using the ball. Okay. So if, and if you don't have one, you can still do the workout, but it's just going to be more beneficial using it, obviously. So we're going to start with having the ball in one hand. We're going to bring that arm out to the side. So we're doing a shoulder raise or a lateral raise here. So bringing it up and back down. So the ball is kind of working like our weight. And two more. And always controlling the arm as it comes down as well. Now you're going to bring that arm forward. So we're working the front of our shoulder here. So following my pace, you don't want to go really fast. It's more beneficial if you're going slowly. And just one more. Excellent. Switching to the other side. So grabbing on. So we're also challenging our hands here, bringing that weight up or the ball up. And two more on this side. So continue your remaining uh, sitting up straight and then bringing that arm forward. So slowly up and slowly down. And two more. Excellent. All right, let's bring the ball down by our knees and we're just gonna raise it up as high as we can, working on that range of motion and back as far as you can, all the way down to the knees. 
So back as far as you can to what's comfortable. If it's causing any pain, then stop it. You know, if you only can go this far, that's fine. Then just go back down again. And just one more. Good. Okay, going into a bicep curl. So just to the chest and down. So I want you to squeeze those biceps at this point. Squeeze and down. And two more. Excellent. I'm grabbing it again in the one hand, bringing it out to the side, and you're just gonna do little circles. So this one can definitely be more challenging. Now make those circles a little bit bigger. Switching the direction. Excellent, let's switch that direction again. So you'll probably, you definitely would feel this in your shoulder by now. Other direction again, one more time. Now we're gonna try and tire out that shoulder and the bicep, we're bringing it to the shoulder and back out. So squeeze that bicep and back out. And two more. Last one. Excellent. Okay, now to the other side. So little circles first in one direction. Now let's make that circle a little bit bigger. And let's go in the other direction. And let's make that circle a little bit smaller again, going in the opposite direction. And one more time, bigger circles. And the opposite direction again. All right, we are gonna have that arm out, going to the shoulder and back out. Squeeze those biceps, so squeeze. Squeeze. And two more. All right, good. Okay, we are going to bring the uh, ball over our head. So bring it up, you're gonna bring it back behind your head and I want you to think about squeezing your triceps. So you're squeezing here as you bring those arms back up. So squeeze down and press up. This one can be tough for some people because you might not have the range of motion to be able to do this. So I'm going to show you another exercise next. And for the next time, if you do this class again, then just um, do the other exercise instead. Let's just do one more. Good. All right, let's do another type for the tricep. So ball is at the shoulder and you're just pressing that ball back, thinking about squeezing the back of your arm. So I'm gonna turn so you can see. So having the ball here and you're just squeezing right now, my arm is as tight as I can make it right here, okay? So three, four, I really squeeze. We're going up to 10 for this one. Six, seven, eight, squeeze, nine, and hold. I want you to squeeze as much as you can in the back of your arm. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Excellent. All right, switching to the other side. So ball is at the shoulder. You're pressing back and back to the shoulder. So squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, and hold. So hold on that, squeeze that back of the arm. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Excellent, good. Okay, let's go forward again. Let's work on the legs for a little bit. So ball in between the knees. We are going to do um, a variety of exercises for our legs. As you know, it's really important to keep those legs strong. So first of all, we're gonna start with uh, working the inner thigh. So we're going to squeeze up also, sit out a little bit on your chair. So you're, uh, you've got a little bit of space behind you because you need room to have that ball. So we're gonna squeeze the knees together. So feet are shoulder width apart. You're squeezing the knees on the ball. So squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Now, if you want to do a little bit more, you can do a bicep curl with the arms. So squeeze and down, squeeze and down, 
squeeze. Let's do three more. And one more. Good. Now this time I want you to squeeze and I want you to hold. So we're going to hold for a count of 10. So squeezing the knees together, I want you to squeeze as if you're trying to burst that ball. Okay, so ready? And go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Okay, um, keeping the ball in that position, we're going to do a leg extension. So we're just going to extend one leg. I want you to hold for the count of three. So if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can squeeze the knees a little bit on the ball. Okay, so squeezing a bit, bringing that leg up. Three, two, one, and down. Again, same leg. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. We've got two more. Three, two, one, and down. Last one. Three, two, one, and down. Excellent. Make sure you're sitting up straight. Let's switch to the other side. So bringing that foot up, squeezing the ball just a little bit if you want to make it a little bit harder. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. Three more on this side. Three, two, one, and down. Two more. Three, two, one, and down. Last one. Three, two, one, and down. Good. Okay, keeping the knees squeezed a little bit on the ball, we're doing our calf raise. You can hold on to your chair if you wish. Lifting those heels up and down. So continuing to squeeze. And down. And down. And one more. Now we're going to do the same thing with lifting the heels up and I want you to think about your glutes. So I want you to squeeze your glutes as you bring those heels up. Okay, so bring those heels up and now squeeze your glutes. Okay, squeeze and relax. Bring the feet down. Okay, so you should really have felt that in the glute muscles. So bring the heels up again. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And back down. Let's do that three more times. So up, squeeze the glutes, and back down. Two more. Back up and squeeze those glutes. It's a bit of a tough exercise, but it's definitely a good one. Bring those heels down. One more time. Heels up, squeeze. And bring those heels down. Good. Okay, bring the ball up to chest level. We're going to bring those elbows up. So I want you to think about having a straight line across the arms, okay? So you're pressing with the palms of your hand. So you're going to squeeze. So press, feeling that in your chest. So you shouldn't feel that all the way along here. So squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Three, four, Squeeze. So you can see why it's nice to have the ball a little bit soft, so you can actually uh, work with it a little bit easier. And one more. Good. All right, let's do some hand exercises. So putting the ball on one knee, I want you just to concentrate on squeezing every finger onto that ball. So you're just using the, the pads of your fingers. You're not digging your nails into the ball. So you just press, like squeezing it and relax. So squeeze and relax. Squeeze. So we're working on our hand strength here. We don't use our hands as much as we should in terms of opening jars and everything is always very tough. So squeeze, working on that hand strength. Now I want you to think about squeezing your index finger to your thumb. So squeeze just that one finger to the thumb. Good. Now you're using the middle finger, so squeeze. And the ring finger, you'll notice these fingers now are getting, the other fingers are getting weak. And the pinky is the hardest, so squeeze that pinky on the thumb. Good, let's switch sides. So onto the other knee, just uh, using the whole hand first. So squeeze, 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 
So just keep going. And just one more. Okay, thumb to the index finger, so press them together. Excellent. Mid uh, middle finger. Ring finger. And our pinky. That's a hard one. Okay, bringing the ball up to the chest level. We are just going to turn the ball, so I want you to squeeze the ball every time you're turning. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So really concentrate on working those fingers. Press, press, press. Let's switch the direction. So press, press. All right, good. Okay, now having the ball in front, your hands are just on the side of it, and I want you just to press those hands together on the ball. So press, you should feel that in your arms for sure. Press and relax. That one's pretty intense. So let's bring the ball up again, press, so squeeze, and relax. We're going to do that one more time, so press, good. Okay, sitting on the edge of your chair, we are going to work the abs. So on the edge, you're having the ball out in front, I want you to lean back into the chair and then pull yourself back up again. Okay, so I'm on the very edge of the chair. I'm just leaning back so my back touches the back of the chair and then I'm leaning forward again. So sit back, make those abs work. <sighs> Breathing out. Breathe out. <sighs> Five, let's do three more. Just do as many as you can. Last one. Good. Okay, sitting up straight, keeping the ball in that position. So ball is in front. I want you to twist to the side. Then give your abs bringing you back. So your abdominals are bringing you back. Twist to the other side. Abs bringing you back. And again. Other side. Just stopping briefly in the center. And we're just going to do one more on each side. Excellent. All right, having the ball in your one hand, we're just going to bring that arm up again. I want you to reach as far back as you can. Working on that range of motion now as far back as you can when it's down. And again. And back. Just one more. And back. Switching to the other side. So bringing it up and all the way back. Last one. All right, we're gonna do one more set with the legs just because it is really, really important to strengthen those legs. So we're gonna do a different one first and then we're gonna go back to our leg extensions. So ball is on the knee. I just want you to raise that knee up and hold for three, two, one, and down. Again, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. Two more times. Three, two, one, and down. Last one. Three, two, one, and down. Switching to the other side, bringing that leg up. Three, two, one, and down. Up. Three, two, one, and down, up, three, two, one, and down, three, two, one, and down. So when you're doing this one too, make sure that you're sitting up straight. Don't allow yourself to lean back when you're, when you're lifting that knee up. Okay, let's put the ball back in between the knees. We're gonna do our leg extension. So we did this before, but I always like to do more than just one set because it is so important. So you might want to sit back a little bit in your chair, otherwise it's quite hard on the legs. So bringing that foot up, I want you to really concentrate on squeezing those quadricep muscles. And down. So hold up again. We're holding for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now if you find that too hard, just hold for the count of three. Five, four, three, two, 
one, we've got two more on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. You're sitting up straight, remember, working that core as well. Last one, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Switching to the other side. So first of all, work on your posture, sitting up straight, bring that foot up. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Concentrating on this leg. So squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more. When you have that foot up, try and have your leg fairly straight here. Two, one, and down. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's um, bring the ball out to the side and we're just gonna pass it from one hand to the other. So stretching back as we do this, so stretch back, bring it to the other side, stretch. Other side, stretch, stretch back. Last one. Good, okay, we're gonna do the tricep extension again because our arms are often one of the things that we really wanna work on. Um, so having the ball at the shoulder, press back, squeeze that tricep. So right here, you're squeezing and forward. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four. Squeeze. And last one, squeeze, hold, 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 squeeze the back of the arm. Excellent, good. Okay, switching to the other side. So you can just stay in your chair the way you are. You don't need to be moving around like I am. I'm doing it simply so you can see what I'm doing. So ball at the shoulder, squeeze the back of that tricep, or the back of the arm, squeeze, squeeze, Squeeze. And last one, and this time you're gonna hold. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Excellent, good. All right, that is it for the ball. So we're just going to uh, do some stretching. So we're just going to, actually you can just put the ball in between your knees for now. We're just gonna bring the hands together, press the hands forward. So um, thinking of your upper back as you're bringing the hands forward. So really press your hands towards me. So press, press, press. Now hands are together. You're bringing the arms back, feeling that in your chest. If you want to increase that stretch, you can hold onto the back of your chair and lean forward. It depends on uh, how much of a stretch you need or what you're able to do. Excellent, bringing that arm overhead. So as you're doing the classes with me, and if you have any ideas or other classes that you'd like to see, definitely, or workouts you'd like to see, definitely let me know, and, uh, and I will try and make them for you. And switching to the other side, reaching as high as you can to the ceiling. And rotating those wrists other direction. Good, bringing the ball up in front. You're just gonna bring one foot up. You're gonna flex that foot so toes are pointed towards you. Only flex to the point where it's comfortable. And pointing the toes away, just so you feel a nice stretch in the front of your leg. Rotating that ankle just gently. Other direction. Switching to the other side, so flexing that foot. So the toes towards you. And away from you. And rotating that ankle. And the other direction. Good, okay, let's put the ball down. Let's bring one arm in front. We're gonna do a shoulder stretch. So crossing that arm in front, bringing that arm uh, as close to your chest as you can. So you should feel this in the front shoulder here. So pulling that arm in. 
Other side, so arm in front, crossing in front of the body and pull that arm in. Let's bring one arm overhead, bring your, drop your hand behind as if you're tapping yourself on the back and you're just going to push that elbow back a little bit. You might already feel the stretch without having to do that. So it depends on your flexibility and your range of motion in your shoulders. And switching to the other side. So arm straight up, drop the hand behind, pressing that elbow back. Excellent. Let's just drop the ear to the shoulder for a neck stretch, one of the most important stretches and working on our flexibility in our neck. And allowing the chin to drop to the, to the chest and holding that position as you're feeling that in the back of your neck. And then over to the other side. So ear to the shoulder. few so just turning to the right as if you're looking or your left whichever works for you uh, as if you're looking your blind spot as you're driving an important one to do as well and looking forward other side and looking forward finishing with one big stretch so bringing the arms overhead deep breath in breathing out. Thank you so much for joining me. I uh, look forward to hearing from you and I wish you a great day. Thanks so much guys. Bye.